Let's sing this. Amen. Overcoming power. You sing it with me. after you can yeah but you, uh, if you stand it makes me feel nervous sometimes no i'm just kidding i just this song i've been uh, I sang it for many many years many of us have sang this it's a song that the precious la fontaine family wrote and i was just listening to it i just came across it while i was studying i said oh man that's just everything everything in my heart and so it was spontaneity at its finest appreciate it we're going to sing to the glory of god amen may this just sum up the service this morning. Babylon teaching me her pleasure driven ways. Have some fun, forget about tomorrow, live today. Her music and her fashion, her Hollywood and passion, stimulates the flesh just like wine. And all the while she pulls us all away, from everything divine But I have heard a voice Calling me out of Babylon Amen To a higher place There's a mountain I can live upon This mystery reaches further to the soul. Put religion on and never let the spirit have control. She stands against revival, the truth within the Bible, binding hungry hearts with chains of fear. Somehow makes confusion of the world that God has made so clear. Well, but I have heard a voice calling me out of Babylon. Amen. To a higher place, there's a mountain I can live upon. become the habitation of devils and of the whole, a hold of every foul spirit and the cage 
of every unclean and hateful bird. Oh my goodness, but I love he put the scripture in after. He says, but I heard another voice from heaven say, heaven say, come out of her. Come out of her. That's what these powers are doing. That's what these horse riders are trying to take you in, into a cage of every filthy bird. But God said, no, sir, I've got a power that's much greater. It's going to be placed inside of my bride. I'm going to send forth an eagle anointing that death has no way. Death has no terror for the blood-bought one. That's why I can sing this song. But I have heard a voice calling me out of Babylon. But I have heard a voice calling me out of Babylon.